In the next few years, there might not be investigative journalists in Nigeria again. Most of them will have run away or maybe fizzle out or maybe there will be none. Anyway, let me explain. Before I continue, I need to let you understand something. There's no freedom of speech anywhere in Nigeria. In fact, the only freedom of speech you have is the one you say before you get arrested. Let's continue. In the last few days, a lot of investigative journalists have been arrested in Nigeria. In the last few years, a lot of investigative journalists have run away or left Nigeria. So let's focus on the recent ones that have been arrested. I'm sure by now most of you will have recognized this logo. I mean this purple background with 99 logo called PDOM Nigeria. The anonymous investigative journalist on Twitter who released, you know, investigative polls about the government and all that he was arrested anonymously or he was anonymously arrested the way he anonymously tweets he was tracked down according to the nigerian police he said he was allegedly adopted or sorry arrested for computer related fraud according to those related to him they said after six days he was adopted i mean sorry he was arrested that was when everybody around could notice or know that this guy has been missing for six days and people were scared to wonder is this still alive or dead or whatever it was when nigerians now raised their voice and started looking for him started looking for him everywhere and all that that's when the police now came out to say that he is with them anyway i might not go into details of you know the things we know or what they've done to him in cell and all that i might not go into that details because of my own safety also remember he's not the only investigative journalist that has been arrested in recent days there's another one but let's finish his own matter first and the nigerian police has also given condition for his bail and the condition is almost looking like impossible what he cannot meet they are indirectly saying that this guy is going to be with us for a long time because the condition for the bail is too much anyway let me give you a few so part of the condition for the bail is that whoever is going to sortie for him the person must be level 16 of government official and that person must have a property in abuja worth 500 million naira and that person must produce a letter of introduction cover letter the person must produce his offer letter and his employment letter and the person also must provide his original document of his office employment letter all this everything related to office and you know i don't think anybody can do that anyway we might not say the second bill option is that you must produce a businessman or business entity that have business in abuja that their business is registered under cac and they must provide a property in abuja worth 500 million naira and they must show the certificate of their business entity or also show their tax clearance everything concerning their business and they must bring passport photograph and they see the conditions are much these are just few so as we're talking to you now, Bidom Nigeria is still under police custody. He must have stepped on toes. Of course, you cannot be an investigative journalist in Nigeria without stepping on toes of those people that matters in the government. So another investigative journalist was arrested on 25th of August. His name is Ate Chumwo Shoinka. He once worked with the BBC and also an independent journalist or investigative journalist. So he arrived from UK on the 25th of August as early as 5.30 a.m. Immediately he landed at the airport in Nigeria. He was picked up by the DSS, meaning that he has been on watch list unknown to him. So immediately he arrived to Nigeria, he was picked by DSS and arrested immediately now here's the question how many investigative journalists in nigeria are on watch list without them knowing the nigerian activist dg has condemned as saying that the nigerian government adopts investigative journalists especially pidom and adejuo it is wrong you are indirectly silencing the upcoming investigative journalists or independent journalists in nigeria because you are indirectly telling the people or the citizens of nigeria that there is no freedom of speech or you can indirectly telling us that the government is running under military regime and no longer democratic regime it's also important that you know that most of those investigative journalists that were arrested they were tracked by their activities online or by their posts or by their bitcoin wallet or some other means of tracking they were tracked down to exactly where they were arrested pidon was tracked and arrested and adejuan was also tracked they know when he was coming to nigeria and they waited for him at the airport and arrested him anyway the update now is that adejuan has been released by the dss but his passport was seized depending on when the investigation will be concluded now here leaves you with the question why can't they track the bandits why can't they track the Boko Haram why can't they track all other insurgency I mean insecurity happening in Nigeria why can't they track those ones anyway I'm just an ordinary Nigerian asking an honest question based on the activity happening in Nigeria tell me what you think in the comment section but before you do that don't forget to enjoy your weekend thank you